Is Jack Murphy really worth anyone's time right now? I'm thinking no. Hey, this is Tom with Tom's Talk Show, and uh, this Jack Murphy situation keeps coming around, and people keep bringing things up about it. And I, I watch the videos and things that are going on, and uh, my opinion, the guy is 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 nothing of a man. He's nothing anything like a man. So uh, I think everybody knows that he was on this. Uh, podcast uh your here podcast uh with sydney watson and elijah schaefer and uh people kept bringing up some article that he wrote you know i don't know five seven eight years ago something like that uh, about how he treated women and and it came up once and they explained even in the video i'll put a link to this one this is uh one by uh it's the clips that make that show the point about what happened in the Alex Jones's humor. Uh, this one site that takes little clips and, and puts them together to make it so you don't have to go scrubbing through the whole video. But it gets brought up. He says, not going to comment. They explain that Sydney just kind of reads, you know, the the comments and the names and, and, and stuff. And they make a little bit of fun about that she doesn't really do any previewing or any editing or any kind of anything ahead and it was brought up again and he basically unloaded expletives on her and uh really did some uncalled you know something uncalled for and then at the end um just kind of walks off and of course sydney made her own uh video and i've watched sydney watson for a long time since she was in australia and so you know talking about things and everything else and just seems like a really sweet nice person who had probably doesn't even have any kind of uh you know mean you know bone in her body at, at all and to be you know just blatantly attacked for just you know things like this then of course uh, uh jack went on uh tim pool's show as he's on i guess there a lot um and completely said basically untruths from what i could see that he uh was said oh yeah i kind of unloaded a little bit and we all apologized afterwards and stuff and then went away well what it seems like from the actual video from what sydney is showing actual facts that he just left and elijah had to go and try and calm him down and say, listen, you know, then they went out for drinks so that he could kind of explain and stuff what was going on. So what actually happened and what, again, what Jack's saying on, you know, Tim Pool's show doesn't match what, you know, Sydney was saying and what kind of from the video seems to be actually happening. So it really makes me think this guy is not worth anyone's time. Um, he's supposed to be some, oh, how to teach you how to be a man and, and all this other stuff. I'm thinking... No, I don't think that's how you be a man and how you treat women and, and all that. Um, there's a, some things on Reddit about, you know, how he, you know, put his wife on Tinder. I don't know if that's true or not, um, but kind of seems to be. I don't know. I, I don't have any facts to back that up, but it kind of seems from people talking about that and that, you know, he did some illicit videos, you know, with his wife and whatever and, and stuff like that. And I... I take my standard from, you know, not from his emotion or his anything or whatever he portrays to be. I take my emotion from something that's solved that's been around for 2,000 years. And I just figured, let's put him up against, you know, you can put him up against other people and, and different things. But I try and, I fail a lot, but I try and put myself up against, you know, a different standard. And so... um uh, and many people know I'm a Christian, so here, right straight out of the Bible, what I things that you know I can believe, the description of a worthy woman, right? This is a worthy woman. Uh, strength and dignity are are her clothing, and she smiles at the future. She opens her mouth in wisdom, and teaching kindness is on her tongue. Well, that's the kind of woman that you want to find. Um, 
Charm is deceitful, beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord shall be praised. So, you know, that has nothing to do with what Jack Murphy is teaching or thinking or anything. Also, so, you know, how was, even back to how, you know, men and women were created at, at creation, uh, you know, God said, hey, it's not good for men to be by himself. So he's going to create woman. And here, Genesis 2, 21 to 23, uh, God took a rib out of Adam so that he could fashion woman. And why did he do it out of a rib? Well, he didn't do it out of a, out of a piece of, you know, his head so that the woman would lord, would lord over the man. He didn't take it out of his feet so that, you know, men wouldn't be shown to stomp on women. He took it out of his rib, his side, so that they would be together, matched, and equal, and side by side. Right? That's, you know, that's what real teaching is. Real men are side by side with women. And then even further, if we go on to this last verse here, uh, Ephesians 5 says, Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church, gave himself up for her, so, right, Christ died on the cross. Men, you're supposed to die for your wives, not put them on Tinder. Right, completely different. And from his attitude, you know, attacking Sidney Watson and then going and lying, basically, about what had happened, it is, he hasn't changed his attitudes. He hasn't changed anything else. And I'm sure, given the opportunity, he would go, you know, possibly go right back to what he was doing before. So, uh, So the rest of this is, Gave his, himself up for her so that he might sanctify her, cleansing her, washing her with the word of God, that he might present himself in the church in all glory, having no spot or wrinkle, anything, that she would be holy and blameless. So isn't that what you would want for, you know, women around you to, to be lifted up, to be, you know, without blame, to not be guilty of anything, not to have to, you know... Uh, make excuses for anything or anything like that. Just to be able to, you know, stand stand up and say, you know, that they're a good person and they can treat other people, you know, with love and kindness. And that all of that is supported by, you know, their their husband, right? That's you know, that that's what relationships and and men should be doing is supporting their wives and just lifting their wives up and continually. You know, supporting them and helping them to be, you know, better people. That's that's what it should be. And his, you know, his reaction is completely wrong. And uh, now he's going after people. He's suing people. Gonna, you know, that's just shows your weak position. Continues to show you have a weak position. You have no position of strength. You have nothing to stand on. If you did, you would get in front of people and just say, "Boom! This is how I would. I had this change of life." And wanted to make myself better and now i am this way so if you want to bring up this article that was in the past this is in the future this is now and in the future but he didn't he he you know basically attacked a very nice woman who was just reading some things you know at random now could they do a little bit more filtering of things sure on on the you're here program sure of course they could but that's not the platform. And it was known from the beginning to, you know, not be the platform. So I, it's going to go away at, at some point and, and, and who knows what's going to happen to him. I'm sure that no one's going to, he's not going to receive any real repercussions from it. And I guess that's, you know, the problem lying about it, uh, to you know on the tim pool show i mean i think tim pool is going to take a hit i've lost a lot of respect for tim pool i used to watch a lot of his videos but now he's not addressing it and i would say if you only had had him on one show i would think it'd be like hey he's just a guy we had him on one show i don't know much about what's going on but he has him on all the time so obviously they know each other obviously they're friendly so it's it's I would think it'd be time to make some kind of video statement, at least make a whole, you know, 10 minute video. This is what happened. This is how I feel about it. This is, you know, 
what I report on and and do that. But that hasn't happened. That hasn't come out yet. So we'll see. I just I I've kind of stopped watching Tim Pool videos, and I know I think a lot of people will have to see if his viewership goes down after this because it's been you know I've been thinking about it, and if you know if you're gonna associate with that kind of pe person and have them on all the time, then I'm not gonna watch your videos anymore, right? All right, well, thanks for watching this video. What are your thoughts on this whole situation? Is it, should we just give him a pass and let it ride and get rid of him? You know, or do we need to keep making, you know, content about it? Do we need to find out more information? And what's Tim Pool's story? Do we, you know, does he need, does he need to come forward and say something? I mean, like I said, if it's only been on your your program one time as a guest, maybe not. But somebody who's a regular, you know, guest on your show, I think it's time to come clean. I think it's time to come forward. All right. Well, comment below, uh, like and uh, share and subscribe to this channel. This is my new talk channel, just where I go over things like this. I couldn't do this on my other technology channel because it really doesn't fit. But here, uh, I can do that. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Take care.